Welcome to our shop here at Pizer Designs. Today we will walk through the assembly of your brand new floor post Desert Haven queen size beautiful cherry bed. So the first thing to do is um, we will provide this little rail support that will be in your package of parts. You will need that. Also a 9 16 socket, a step stool might be handy or some sort of something to stand on and a tape measure. Other than that, it should go very, very smoothly. I have everything labeled as RF for, for a right foot, LH for left head, RH right head, that sort of thing. Everything's labeled. It should go together fairly smoothly. If at any time during this process you have a question, please give me a call at my 800 number, 888-527-7477, that's all. So on all sorts of um, um, cards and postcards that will be in this package as well. So we will start with the right side of the bed here, the right rail. Take this, it has the initials RH or right head, so that means the head of the bed is to my left here. We'll set this rail down on top of that. Then I will grab the postmarked right foot and a bolt. Place that down there. If it's on hardwood floors, it should stand on its own. If it's on carpeting, you might uh, need someone else's wood. Well, this can be done with one person. It is much easier with two people. So there are dowels at the ends of all the rails, and there are receiving holes on the posts. Just set the posts down, gently slide those dowels in, give it a little tap, grab one of your bolts. Slide it in there, should catch. Tighten it by hand for a little bit till it's catching. And then snug it down with your 916 socket. Okay. We'll now go up to the right head. Take the next post number two. Set it in place. A little tap. And grab a bolt. be completely tight or very snug at this point. They just have to kind of make, make sure that the reds are catching and they should catch pretty easily. This will now be off the ground so it's slightly precarious but there are two people it's easy. If not, just be careful. Grab the foot rail which is the short one. Set it on the rail support and carefully insert the dowels into the right foot leg. Grab another bolt. And that should catch. If you want, you can give it a little turn, snug it up a little bit, but you don't have to crush it down, just, just get it snug. Okay, now we'll go to the left foot, marked LF. Posts are slippery, so again, be careful, they are waxed. Again, set the post down, gently insert the dowels, give it a little tap. Bolt. 
doesn't go all the way, just give it a little tap so it catches. Tighten it by hand and then give it a couple of turns with the wrench. Now move the support over to the left side and grab the other rail. This one is marked with an LH pointing toward the headboard, so you can pretty much only go in one way at this point. Should make sense. Set that on there and gently insert the dowels into the post at the foot of the bed. And grab a wolf. Fourth post in. smallest board in the bunch here goes underneath the headboard. Just insert one end in at a time. Everything's pretty stable at this point. Just move it as you need to. Insert one end in and insert the other end in. Give it a little tap in place and then grab your remaining two bolts. Hopefully you only have two left. And just get these last two, just start them, because we still need to put the headboard in. So just make sure those threads catch, and then leave it alone. Uh, then grab the headboard, this is the heavy part, and much easier with two people on this one, but one person can do it. Carefully just set one end in. Give it a little wiggle so it's there. Move to the other side. Give the post a little push to spread them apart. Give it a little gentle tap. That should be there. Then you can go back and snug these headboard ones down nice and tight. You may need to tighten them a little bit first.
And then if there's any space between the headboard and the post, just give it a little wiggle and some taps. Just help it in there and it'll snug right up. And then go back and tighten them, give them another little turn or so. Not, don't crush them down, just snug them up. And then go back and retighten all the other ones. Not super tight, just so they're snug. Don't over tighten them. Here with two people. That's pretty much it. The 100 inches and 3 eighths of an inch. At that point, it's helpful to have a stool, but you don't need it. We'll now start the canopy assembly. The canopy starts off with four, four of these and four of these as well. Four of these, four of these. Each one is labeled as the posts were left foot, right foot, left head, right head. So, see if I guessed correctly. I did not. So, we'll start with the right foot. There are bolts on the bottoms of these top cups, and there are holes in the curved pieces. There are also um, square nuts recessed in the tops of the posts. So what you want to do is just put the cup through the, the hole in the in the top piece, set it in the bolt, and just spin it right on in there. And again, just kind of snug it down. This doesn't need to be real tight right now, just so it's not going anywhere. So we'll start with one. Moving on to the right head. And again, the uh, letters are on the top facing up. There's also a little seam on each of the stretch of uh, these curved pieces, long thin pieces. That seam, the little step, should also be facing the ceiling. So again, just set the, the bolt of the cup through the hole in the strip. Set the bolt in the top of the post and it will screw right down in there. Just kind of make sure it's snug. Move 
on to the next one. just barely meet in the center. They won't quite touch. That's fine. center, not super tight, just snugged in there, move the stool to the center, and we'll grab the connecting piece. This has a T standing for top and an arrow, so that points, any pencil marks go towards the ceiling, the arrow points towards the headboard. This is the trickiest part, but if you've made it this far, you can do it. So we'll pick one, I'm going to pick the left head to insert first, in there just like a tinker toy, inserts in one side, might need to bend and twist these just a little bit and then take the right foot and insert it into the corresponding slot and those two should hold it in place. I'm going to move over here to the left foot, it's going to take a little wiggling to get that. If that goes, the last one is the trickiest one because there's a little bit of tension. Insert that, and voila, there it is. If this is uh, not quite straight or level to your liking, it just takes a little bit of tweaking and twisting. Just kind of grab it and give it a little twist. As long as the bed is square, this should sit pretty much level and true. And that is most of it. And then remove the stool, also provided in your bed pack are six ash slats, all number, numbered one through six. Number one sits closest to the headboard, and we'll drop right into these dovetailed slots. Go down the way. piece of the puzzle, and some say the nicest, are these little caps that cover up the bolts. They have a very small little dowel on the top. If you, see, if you saw the little holes above these bigger holes, all you have to do is just stick that in a little bit of bang, just kind of wiggle it and push it, and then just slide it right down into place. Do that all the way around. There are eight of these, enough to cover all the holes, even the ones behind the headboard against the back of the bed. In case you have small children or curious people and one of the foot ones tends to break, it breaks off by chance, you can always use one from behind the bed to replace that and then contact me and I'll make you some new ones if you can't find someone else to fix it, but that shouldn't happen, but things do happen. So, there you have your bed, Four Post Desert Haven, pretty exciting. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it, um, thanks for buying it, have fun, and uh, please if you have any questions contact me by email, pizerdesigns at usa.net, through my website, pizerdesigns.com, or just call me, 888-527-7477. Thanks very much. 
Also included in the uh, bed pack are four tea light candles. If you were wondering what the little scooped out holes in the tops of the cups on top were for, that's what these are for. For uh, those extra romantic moments, you can light these candles, tops of posts, and have a great time. So, also in case you're wondering, the bed is made out of solid cherry. Posts are solid uh, 4x4 cherry posts from Pennsylvania. Those came from this time. All the rest of the bed came from some Amish folk in uh, Goshen, Indiana. I'm here in South Bend, Indiana. Uh, the tops of the, um, the canopy are maple. The lighter wood accents are maple. The dark wood obviously is cherry. The top strip on the headboard is tiger maple or curly maple. And again, the slats are ash. So again, enjoy. Thanks very much.